<clears throat> Today's the 10th of July. Um, all right, so this is a 500 gallon livestock tank. I typically, uh, I overwinter turtles in this in my garage. Aquatic turtles, but since I've kind of decided to cut back on that, um, I pulled it out of my garage and I decided to make it into a giant aquarium. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if you can, it's water's really clear. That fish that was just swimming past there is a, is a hun honey garami. If you look down at the bottom, there's a Paleotis cori cat just went under the leaves um, I got a couple uh, hardy water lilies some water hyacinth I don't know what that is I I pulled that out of a canal I just thought it was interesting so um, and there's some duckweed that's the filter there there's the output the input is down there in a little filter box so um, yeah I put some fish in here uh, just a handful. I wanted to see if they would breed because I had pretty good luck breeding tropical fish like this. The water temperature will stay in the 80s. The bees are using it as a, a station to come in and get water, as you can see. And um, so, what do I have in here? I've got uh, some, I got like four honey garamis and. Uh, couple of variatus plotties and um, I got a, a couple two small African cichlids Lake Tanganyika cichlids that I had left over from my colony and like four cherry barbs so I got them all in here uh, this will be up and running probably till um, maybe October depending on how the temperature is so um, I got it up and out late I should have done it in April which is what I will do next year and probably try some different fish and I wish I could spot some here for you there's a there's a platy down there in the shadows it's not teeming with them but um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, see what happens. Till next time.